I can still remember my first electronic calculator and what a great tool that was. The compelling is that there is still so much optimism toward technology. We can't run away from it and uh, ultimately it's a tool and it shouldn't dictate what we do and it should enhance what we do and we are the ones that can control that and we should. The first time I presented computer graphics at a conference was in 1979 and the comment I got is the computer will make architecture boring and repetitive and exactly the opposite has happened. Technology is changing very quickly right now and so the tools that are available to the newest of architects coming out of college are just amazing. I'll tell you, the hot shots I see in our office, I watch what they can do, and, and they're whizzes on the computer. They just do amazing things, but, but they're incredibly talented designers. It goes from the head to the heart to the hand, into the computer and back out. And it does, it does start to have a real individual human quality to it. Wow, you know, with technology, I think technology is just changing the future of how we design, how we manage, um, and so we see it really being this interactive process, pulling out the pad, pulling out the stylus, and sketching up a, a solution to a problem in the field, and then immediately saving it as a PDF and sending it out to everybody. How wonderful that is. Technology has liberated design to a tremendous extent. It can provide opportunities for the smaller firm to do bigger projects, and it can provide opportunities for the bigger firms to do smaller projects and do it in a cost-effective manner. I think it's going to make us better designers, to have our profession be able to keep up with the demands of society, either be it sustainability or economics or you know, social justice or, or whatever. It's, it's going to help our profession do a better job. Well, I'm a software vendor. So what I try to do is get my customers to understand how they can stop thinking about um, creating a set of drawings, but start thinking about more about the design and more about building a virtual prototype. The quality of the imagery that comes from a three-dimensional design um, software is, is so compelling um, that it's, it's just a fantastic sales tool. You want to see what I've done? Look, here it is. The technology itself is sort of neutral. Uh, how we use it, what we do with it, that's what matters. Technology is also contributing mightily to our ability to understand the sustainability aspects of what we're building. The whole focus of using technology to manage the life cycle is that it's not reactive, it's proactive. A number of trends that, that are converging. I think cloud-based computing is going to have a huge impact. It relieves the firm of so many obligations, so, so many expenses, and it allows global collaboration so much easier and so much more readily. For example, today you might model a building and look at weather patterns and things, but you have to be able to fit it on your laptop. I think in the next five years or so, you're gonna to start to see bigger buildings, higher fidelity, higher models doing more things because you can take advantage of computation in the cloud. We uh, believe very strongly in the future of BIM as a standard. So interoperability is very important to us and that's, that's where we're headed. It's up to manufacturers and those that are really creative and thinking about what's the next tool um, to consider um, looking at how the technology can be an extension of the person, not physically, but behaviorally. When we have an exponential curve of knowledge, we that enabled through technology, among other things, it makes us also more able to be what we can be as humans, the, the potential. We are far from having reached that yet. And that's what I see in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, that we are becoming richer and richer in knowledge and understanding, not in material. What the future holds is where the technology is no longer the focus, but the focus is back on what we romanticize in the past many times, right? The architect is designer, the collaborative team um, putting together a great design for a, uh, a fabulous client that wants to do a wonderful building.